Okay, here's one from when I was 12 years old. Since you shared an electronics ghost story, I'm sharing one. So I'm 12 years old. My dad was sailing somewhere around the world for a bunch of months. So my mom and I are alone in the house. And so that meant my mom went out, which meant I was alone in the house. And, you know, I'm 12. She figured I could handle it. It got dark. And I'm in the top floor of the house when we had a stereo in the lower floor of the house in the back of the family room, like lower floor, back room, back corner of the back room. And the stereo went on. It was plugged in through the whole house. So the whole house was playing music. It's playing the radio. And then the radio turned off and the record player went on and a record was playing moody blues whom i loved so i was freaking out and i'm turning on lights first i turned on every light on the top floor and it's dark out my mom's not there i don't know when she's coming back and then i turn on the stairway lights but the downstairs is all in the dark and our stairs are such that they're the steps, but there's air between the steps. When I was a little kid, my brother would hide, hide under the steps and reach out and grab my ankles whenever I was walking down. So I'm a little, you know, scared of that. So I like ran down the steps so nothing could grab my ankles. Apparently you don't watch any horror movies. <laughs> I practically jumped down the steps, turned on the hallway light, turned on every light downstairs, went to the family room, turned on all the lights, and the stereo's playing. The record is playing. I mean, it was definitely on. And I saw the record stop playing middle of the album. You know, it's not like I was like, oh, I'll listen to the whole album before freaking out. It's middle of, what was it? Uh, Moody Blues Days of Future Past. The needle goes up, goes over the side, goes down, and I saw the stereo, everything bit by bit turn off. The amplifier, the record player, everything I saw turn off. So I freaked out, like, like go, 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 ghost, and I ran up the stairs. I ran into the kitchen to call my godparents who lived right down the road to say, you got to come get me. I am freaking out. Um, when in the corner of the kitchen, I saw sadly a familiar sight. I didn't know at the time what it was. It took years later. It was one of the Akashic librarians. But whenever they come to the earth realm to hang out with me, they look super creepy, like white with weird blotches of color and fingers that are like this long like clouds, like the stars of the clouds. exactly with black pits for eyes and it's like moving it's having trouble maintaining it's and it waved at me i tore out of the house i ran down the street now i lived in the woods and there were no street lights. It's a, it was a curvy half mile run along a mountain road and then a gravel road in pitch dark to my godmother's house. I arrived there like, oh, my house is haunted. And my grand, my godmother's like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. She drove me back home. The front door was wide open. <laughs> All the lights were on. She chastised me while she shut everything down. And she went to leave because I'm 12 years old. I should know better. And I was clinging to her so bad when my mom came home. There was 12-year-old me freaking out, sobbing, clinging to my godmother who was not allowed to get off our front porch. <laughs> so that was my first Actually, no, I wasn't 12. I was 10. I was 10 at the time. So anyway, again, in the country back in the day, 10 years old is practically an adult. I should have known better. It wasn't until years later that I learned these like terrifying visions 
were the Akashic librarians, which was weird because whenever I went into the library, which I did my whole life, they looked like very human-like and really nice and sweet. They were doing their best when they came here, but oh my God. It wasn't until years later that I learned these like terrifying visions were the Akashic librarians, which was weird because whenever I went into the library, which I did my whole life, they looked like very human-like and really nice and sweet. They were doing their best when they came here, but oh my God. This was a long time ago, <laughs> but it was the first time that I was left on my own and they thought that they would come through and spend time with me so I wouldn't be scared. That's what they thought. What happened? Oh my God. It is amazing that I did not like mess my pants. <laughs> no. Usually they're trying to be helpful or they want you to help them. It's very rare that they're anything other than uh, ignoring you to wanting to have a friendly connection, even though they seem. Yeah. 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 Yeah.